you. I'm Jillian. Nice to meet you. How you Congratulations doing? on the movie. Thank you so much. Rob just told me 250 people tried out for your role and you got it. 250 people? Yes. Yeah, he probably just got fed up of looking and then had to pick somebody at the end. What was the audition process like? Because it's a very physically challenging role. Yeah, I, that, that wasn't really a, um, a thing that we, we did in the audition. It was mainly just to try and get the humor. Um, like, I sent a self-tape to them and then I got a call back and I did like a chemistry read with Paul. And it's hard not to look funny opposite Paul because he's so bloody good. So that went in my favor. Um, and then I got the part. And then it became a thing of us talking through like the physical, the physicality of it. So. Yeah, because in addition to the physical challenges, the character is very complex, both like comedic and dramatic elements. So it's very... Yeah, yeah. That's what I loved about it so much. Like I, I found the character kind of uh, Harold and Maud kind of s, like very dark, but like very funny with it at the same time, like very witty. And I think that's what the point of the movie is, you know. But the, you know, yes, this kid is living with Duchenne muscular dystrophy, but that doesn't, you know, sum up his identity. Like it's he's a rounded person and a very funny person. And he has you know things going on. And by the end of it, I hope you you know you kind of forget that he's in a wheelchair. And working with Paul Rudd, you touched on that a little bit. What was the improv like? And kind of. It was scary. Like he's so quick. Like you have to drink a lot of coffee in order to act with him, just to be on. Um, he's so good. Like so good. Um, and the nicest of guys. Like we got on so well. And I think that's what helped the chemistry on screen. They're just a really easy guy to get on with. So since this movie involves a road trip, would you go on a road trip? Have you gone on one? Where would you want to go? I'm from the UK. Weather's too nihilistic to do road trips. We just stay indoors. So no, I've not really been on a road trip. No. <laughs>